Welcome to Shaker Maths. Today we are going to learn sixth class mathematics semester one numbers all around us part six four fundamental operations. Number one addition. For this, let us take an example from estimate the sum by rounding and verify the result. Twenty four page number in the textbook second problem. Fifty six thousand seven hundred and twenty three plus four thousand five hundred and sixty seven plus seventy two plus five solution. For this, let us write the place values from right to left. That is units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Now write all the numbers in their place values exactly. Before doing the actual addition, let us estimate. Estimate. Let us estimate by rounding. Here, five digit, four digit, two digit. One digit. So different digit numbers are there. So let us uh, round them by nearest to one thousand. First fifty seven thousand. Second one five thousand. Third becomes zero, and fifth, fourth becomes zero. And adding, we get in the units place zero, tens place zero, hundreds place zero, and thousands place seven plus five is twelve. So two is put in thousands place and one is carried out to ten thousand place. So five plus one becomes six. So total six two thousands. Let us round these numbers nearest to hundred. Then first one becomes fifty six thousand seven hundred seven. Uh, second one four thousand six hundred. Third hundred and fourth becomes zero. So units zero adding units zero and uh, tens zero and hundred becomes fourteen. So four four one and uh, Thousands becomes one one, and ten thousand six. So sixty one thousand four hundred. Let us do the actual addition in the left hand side. So units place seventeen, and tens place sixteen, hundreds place thirteen, thousands place eleven, and ten thousand place five plus one becomes six. So total sixty one thousand three hundred and sixty seven is very near to the estimated value of sixty one thousand four hundred. Then sixty-two thousand. So here, estimation by rounding to nearest to hundreds place is exact or better than rounding to nearest to thousands. Next, in subtraction, let us take a problem. Estimate the difference by rounding and verify the result. Page number twenty-six in the textbook, third problem, fifty-two thousand seven minus six thousand seven hundred and fifty-six. Write these numbers in their place values exactly, and now uh, estimate by rounding these numbers nearest to hundreds. Then first one becomes fifty-two thousand, second number becomes six thousand eight hundred. By subtracting the estimated values, we get in ten minus eight two, and eleven minus six becomes five, and last ten thousand place four. So forty-five thousand two hundred is the estimated number. Now By subtracting on the left-hand side, actual subtraction: seven minus six one, ten minus five five, and nine minus seven two, and eleven minus six five, and last four. So forty-five thousand two hundred and fifty-one is very near to forty-five thousand two hundred. So this is the exact uh, uh, estimation by rounding nearest to hundreds in subtraction here. Now take a problem in multiplication. Estimate the product by rounding and verify the result. Page number twenty-six in textbook. Second problem: six thirty-six into seventy-eight. So write these numbers in their place values. That is six hundred thirty-six into seventy-eight. Before doing the actual multiplication, let us estimate by rounding the nearest to tens because two-digit number is there and three-digit number there. So let us uh, nearest to tens. So we get six forty into eighty. Now eight four zero thirty two two three and six four zero forty eight plus three fifty one thousand two hundred is the estimated number. Now doing the actual multiplication in the left hand side eight six zero forty eight so eight and four six eight three zero twenty four plus four twenty eight so two in hundreds place and eight in tens place and eight six zero forty eight plus two fifty. Now multiplying in by tens place. Seven six ja forty two so two and four in tens place so seven three ja twenty one plus four twenty five so five and two here six uh, seven six ja forty two plus two forty four so now adding 
in the units place we get 8 and in tens place we get 10 so 0 and 1 in a tens place so 5 plus 1 becomes 6 and 5 plus 4 9 and last 4 so 49608 uh, which uh, and the uh, difference between the estimated value and the actual value is uh, approximately 1502 so it is the best estimation next division Estimate the quotient by rounding and verify the result page number 26 in the textbook third problem 859 divided by 23. Before doing the actual uh, division, let us estimate uh, by rounding the nearest to tens. So, 859 becomes 860, 23 becomes so 20. So, 24 ja 80, 6, 0, 23 ja 60. So, by abstraction, so we get uh, quotient is 43. Now let us do the actual division 859 divided by 23, 23 3 ja 69 by subtraction we get 16 and 9, 23 7 ja 161 we get remainder 8. So here a quotient is 37, by estimated value of quotient is 43 is very near, only just difference of 6. So from these we say that when number of digits are equal then rounding to higher place values gives exact estimation. In general, rounding to the lesser place values gives more ac accurate estimation, but it takes some more steps. Thanks for watching video. If you like, please like, share, subscribe.